Okay guys, hey, welcome to another edition of Cultivating Creation. And uh, this time we're out here on the place working on our access. Uh, that's gonna be the key word for this off season is working on our access around the property. Um, when we purchased the place, one of the things we noticed is we had a main uh, logging road kind of right down through the middle and that was pretty much the only access um, the best access anyway so in this off season one of our main projects is going to be getting other access roads and I'm actually standing here on our uh, east line let's see make sure I'm orientated correctly yes this is our east line and uh, as you see here we got a tree across the line and this is a pretty good cedar tree i begin to work on it already uh but we're going to cut it out of the way in preparation of a uh a church member of mine a friend coming with his bush hog and uh his grappler and we're going to start uh you may also notice that right here right here is our fence well, I guess you could say what's left of our fence. And uh, so this access is actually going to serve a dual purpose. Um, one, we're going to be able to easier, easily, more easily access uh, our stands throughout the property. But also, as these pine trees grow, eventually, in time, we're going to want to burn the whole place. We're going to want to prescribe burn. Uh, the entire track and so as we're opening up access in the perimeter uh, we're also preparing fire lanes for the future for prescribed burns and let me say another thing uh, this is certainly going to help our hunting in that like I said we're on the easternmost side of our property well as we're accessing our stands on this side we're going to access anything with a uh, west wind Anything with a west wind on our property here is going to blow our scent to the neighbors. But more than that, our scent is not gonna be on any part of our property as we're accessing. And so that's huge, huge. And so we're very excited about that. Uh, it's a long process because we've got 127 acres, all with a remnant of uh, a fire lane and all with falling down trees like you see here one more thing i'll say that i'm excited about on this project on our fence line uh, there is a remnant fence and it is a mesh fence and so as the years go by as we continue to clear out this property uh, we're going to work on our fence because one of the things we have noticed is that our neighbors do run dogs at least for rabbits and so we're not going to prevent all the dogs from crossing into our property. Uh, but if we can get that mesh fence back up four foot high, we're going to dissuade them. I'll just say it that way. Uh, the deer obviously will have no problem jumping a four foot fence, uh, but hopefully the little beagles <laughs> and whatever other dogs might want to come across the fence will, will be dissuaded. Uh, I know we're not going to get a hundred percent, but if we can get some, I'll be happy. And so, uh, three things we're doing here. One, access for our deer stands. Two, future prescribed fire fire lanes. And three, uh, working on our fence, getting a good solid border uh, from our neighbors for whatever purpose. Uh, so I'm very excited. This is the first day. We'll probably be working on this all season, off season. And honestly, I don't plan on getting it done. Uh, later, we'll do videos of forestry mulchers I've got reserved coming in. But this is day number one, working on access.
guys. Hey, we uh, we got the bush hog out today and we wrapped up the fire lane about as much as we could do. We got down there by the creek and it got awful wet and yes, we got the tractor stuck. And thank the Lord, praise the Lord, we got the tractor out. <laughs> but we're just now kind of getting over that, but I did want to do an after. Uh, you see my tripod there, if you paid attention in the previous video, you could see the tripod in the background. So I wanted to kind of point a reference, show you the tripod, and I'm gonna spin around here and show you just, just how good we did. You see it right here close to me. You see it there, but now look at that, huh? Again, this is gonna serve two or three purposes. One, obviously access. Now we got access. Uh, 300 yards up and down the east side. Uh, virtually little to no scent uh, on your boots, just where your boots hit the ground. Noise to the minimum. Sneak right in, sneak in that tripod that I just showed you. And I'm gonna go a little further down. Woo! I'm gonna go a little further down and uh, I'm gonna put a ladder stand down there by the creek. So you can sneak right into that virtually uh, unscented and and unheard of, unheard, and then again, wind blowing this way, it'll blow right off the property. So number one, access to deer. Number two, again, we're doing this for fire lane. This being the east side, the interstate being our west side, obviously we can't burn to the interstate. So when it comes time, these little trees to be uh, prescribed fire and burned, we're gonna, blow it on a west wind and that west wind is going to come this way fire is going to come this way head fire and we're going to need to have a good fire break which we do so i feel comfortable prescribed fire and uh third thing again we're going to be working on our fence uh, here's the fence right here all the way down and uh through the years me and my kids will be working on that fence so Again, I'm very pleased, very pleased. We're gonna do a little bit more today and see what all we can do and go from there. We'll, we'll keep you guys updated. Thanks for tuning in. Okay guys, hey, what y'all think about those videos? That was uh, quite a transformation. In that first video, I, it was like I was in a pine thicket. And then you see a little bush hog and all of a sudden we got a beautiful fire lane. Uh, I tell you, it's amazing what you can do with a friend, a tractor, in a few hours. And uh, that fire lane is going to serve multiple purposes for many years to come. And I'm very thankful. Thankful for Joel, thankful for his tractor, thankful for the time and the outdoors, thankful for the opportunity uh, to cultivate creation. And you know how we like to end our videos. Uh, the key word for today has been access. And uh, you know, we've been talking about accessing deer stands and different parts of our property and all those things. Uh, but it also got me thinking about a particular verse in the Bible that talks about access as well. And I'd like to read to you Ephesians 2, uh, verses 17 and 18. Ephesians 2, 17 and 18 says, And he, Paul here, writing to the church at Ephesus about our Lord Jesus, and he, Jesus, came and preached peace to you who were far away and peace to those who were near for through him through Jesus we both have our access in one spirit to the father we both have our access in one spirit to the father now I want you to think about this there's uh, a lot of people who believe differently about how we get to the Father. And uh, uh, some people will say that we need to go uh, through a person or uh, through a, a clergy member or, or, or through uh, another type of deity or, or any of these thoughts you might hear out in this world as to how we get to the Father. Uh, but here the, the Apostle Paul writing the Church of Ephesus says that we have access through Jesus, and when we bow our heads to pray, and when we call upon the name of the Lord, we don't have to go through any person 
or any other deity or any other thing. When we pray in Jesus' name, we have direct access to the Father. And it's really amazing if you begin to think about it, that sinful man like me, sinful man like ourselves can, can bow our knees and immediately have an ear with God Almighty. I tell you, um, you really begin to think about that. that, that will change the way you think, you act, you live, <laughs> and even how you pray. Uh, you know, we couldn't have a better access, uh, said another way, we couldn't have a more direct line than when we bow our knees and we bow our head and call upon the name of Jesus. He tells us that he is the way, the truth, and the life, that no man comes to the Father but by him. And we see that in John 14, 6, but if you think about that same thing in the positive, he's the way, the truth, and the life, but we come to the Father through him. And so I praise the Lord for the access we have to the creator of heaven and earth, God Almighty, uh, through our Lord Jesus. And, and I tell you, uh, as I think about accessing these stands and, and all the things we're doing on the property right now, the more I think about that word access, the more these kinds of verses come uh, to my mind and to my heart. The veil has been torn. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Uh, we have direct access. Friend, I hope you know that. I hope when you bow your head, you call upon the name of Jesus, and I hope you know that you are in direct communication with the creator of heaven and earth. If I could help you more with that, man, I would love to. I'd love to help you know how you can have access to the Father, learn more about who Jesus is. If I can help you in any way, I sure would love to. Hey, if I can help you cultivate your piece of heaven, uh, your piece of creation, please let me know. Uh, we're here to help. And uh, we want to encourage you, uh, hey, get on that bush hog. Uh, if you don't have one, phone a friend. You know, get a friend over and do what we can uh, to cultivate your little piece of creation. I pray that you have a blessed day today. God bless you. Hey, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Cultivating Creation. If you did and you want to see more videos like this, make sure to subscribe and turn on that bell. Bye.